Well, welcome back uh, to my second tasting. Uh, today, we are doing the lime fish, uh, Belgian style, at the double. Okay. Um, I've been a big fan of um, flying fish for a while. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're a farmhouse sale. Uh, it's a very decent farmhouse sale. Um, not quite DuPont, but you know, it's hard to get that, to that quality of a farmhouse sale. Um, uh, their amber ESB is very close to being a good uh, bitter, just on the amber side. Um, you know, everything I've had for them, um, I've been impressed with. So uh, we're gonna try this. So. Um, uh, quick facts right off the uh, top, 7.3% uh, EPV, obviously I'm going to be pouring it into a round bottom um, Chimay glass, so I don't have any other, you know, glasses for it, so I'm going to use that. <clears throat> um, no, let's just get started then. First, you know, I didn't really. Oh, it smells great. First, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't care for flying fish um, solely on their label. Uh, uh, I thought their label was really cheesy, flashy, um, and I'm like, any kind of serious beer, any good beer is not going to have that kind of cheese on it. Um, I had one uh, simply because the bar I was at had an extremely limited selection, so I might as well get flying fish. <clears throat> and I've um, uh, just been happy with them ever since. So it's opened, and uh, here's to you. Perhaps I should have poured that with more vigor. much of a head on it. It's a lot more opaque than I, I thought it would be, but you know, it is a, it is a double, so. Mm. Certainly, uh, certainly smells like a Belgian. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and taste it. Hmm. Pretty good. Um, surprising uh, touch of bitter to it. Which you didn't, you know, I wouldn't expect from a Abbey style uh, ale. I mean, it's only 7.3. <laughs> you know, you should expect a little more from a double, but um, you know, not bad, not bad. Very um, doesn't seem to have much on the low end. Um, uh, but it certainly has some some character, um, some character to it. So, mm. I'm wondering if I didn't pour it wrong, but um, you know, not much on on lace, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to jump right out and you know say anything yet. Um, Certainly, um, certainly a good beer. Um, I don't know if it's any kind of phenomenal beer. Well, one thing I will say for it, which uh, definitely stands a huge plus in its favor, it doesn't have that, you know, sugary sweetness that a lot of Americans, <coughs> American breweries try to do when they do a uh, Belgian style ale. Um, they always, it's always overly sweet, not naturally sweet. Um, now granted, I'm not saying that, you know, American breweries are tossing extra sugars in there. I'm not sure, exactly sure how they're brewing it. Uh, however, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that extra overly sweet taste as opposed to, I, I, just, just to take a comparison, to do like, um, uh, take like a, you know, uh, like a St. Bernardish triple, um, and put that against something like a, 
Not like an Allagash triple. No. Maybe not. Maybe not Allagash because Allagash is certainly um, amongst the best of um, non Belgian um, breweries that brew Belgians. Um, or something like Old Monkey uh, from Victory. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong, those are also, those are all phenomenal beers and I love them. Um, but there's, they definitely have that mark of the, uh, the, the American, um, <clears throat> the American sweetness, you know, overly sweet, as opposed to just, um, yeah, you get the point, not really get into your head. Anyway, um, uh, let's set this warm up a bit. Um, Excellent. So, see you back in a few. Mm. Still very nice. Also, it's warmed up a bit. <clears throat> uh, you know, consumed more of it. Um, uh, it when opening up, it's uh, assumed some sourness, um, and not a not necessarily a pleasant sourness. It's not bad. Not offensive. Um, it's certainly not very pleasant. Um, uh, not what not what I expected. Uh, I think it falls a little short from what I, what I um, what I expect from flying fish. Um, I think overall um, a good beer. Uh, if you like flying fish, um, go ahead and make it a staple of yours. Um, I don't think I'll go out of my way for it again, but. Um, now, if available, I certainly wouldn't turn it down. Um, I did enjoy it a decent bit, <clears throat> um, as you can tell through, through the video here. Um, even from the pour, it uh, just seems a little hesitant. Um, it seems a hesitant. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going at with that, but it doesn't seem it doesn't flower at all. It doesn't um, it doesn't seem to swallow your tongue. It seems sort of flat. So. Um, no, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, there's still some carbonation going on, so it's not entirely flat, but in any case, um, decent beer. Uh, I don't have any sort of rating system. I'm going to make a video about rating systems, um, but um, I enjoyed drinking it anyway. enjoyed doing this video. Um, uh, take care, and uh, here's to you.